I'm just trying to say that I trust you. And I know you'll make the right call. Who's ready to learn how to make some crystal meth? My costume fell apart. I'm kidding, folks. We're not making crystal meth. In this episode, we're going to be making prison ice cream. And happy Halloween! Ah, time to come out the soup. It's a little warm in here. In this video, we are going to be making prison ice cream. Now, I know that sounds crazy. You're probably thinking to yourself, why in the hell would anybody make ice cream in prison? While incarcerated, guys make pretty much anything you can think of. And ice cream is a delicacy that is not easily found, but it's pretty damn easy to make. And in this video, I'm going to show you just how easy it is. You can do this at home. It is that easy. I actually bought this apron just for this video. How the hell do you tie this thing? Ah. There we go. What you're gonna need, you're gonna need a couple of Ziploc bags. You're gonna need like a one gallon Ziploc bag. You're also gonna need a small sandwich bag. You're also gonna need some ice, salt, and a lot of it. Milk, a Pop-Tart, cereal. This is Fruity Pebbles, maybe Fruit Loop, Kool-Aid, or juice, whichever you have. Kool-Aid, juice, it doesn't really matter. But you're gonna need one or the other. The first thing we're gonna do we're gonna take our one gallon Ziploc bag, open it up, and we're gonna fill it with ice. We're not gonna fill this bag all the way up. We're gonna fill it about halfway up. We're then going to take our salt and add our salt to our bag. Now you need a lot of salt for this. The salt is gonna make the ice super cold and that's what's gonna help create quick ice cream. So we are literally just dumping away. Once we've added the salt, we're gonna mix that up. I'm gonna add more salt. You can never go wrong with the salt. You need a lot of salt. Continue to mix that up. Then I'm gonna put this off to the side for a minute. Next, our small sandwich Ziploc bag. We're gonna open that up. Careful not to spill it. We're gonna take our milk. Oh shit. Careful not to spill it. And we're gonna add our milk to our bag. Now do this carefully. You don't need to add a lot of milk to here. Maybe like that much milk. I'm gonna put the bag inside of a bowl to make it easier to pour the milk into. It's not very easy actually. Sit in there. All right, milk into the bag. Boom. Milk is in the bag. Doesn't that look delicious? Yum. Next, we're gonna take our Kool-Aid or our juice. We've got a little bit of Kool-Aid powder right here. It's not cocaine and it's not crystal meth. Just clarifying that in case my probation is watching or the feds. And we're gonna take a little bit of this Kool-Aid powder and we're gonna add it right into our milk. We don't have to put a whole lot in there. We're just giving our milk some fruity flavor. And we're just gonna stir that up like so. Boom, 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 boom. Now we're gonna close this and I'm gonna continue to stir this up a little bit. Oh yeah. Stirring the milk in the bag. Okay, we stirred up the milk in the bag with the Kool-Aid or the juice. Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open this bag again and I'm gonna try to get the air out of this bag. So basically, I'm just gonna press this bag down on itself, trying to release the air. Make sure that there's most of the air is removed from this bag because we're gonna put this bag inside of this bag. And you don't want this bag all big and bloated from the air inside of it. So now, let's take this bag and we're going to stick it inside of this bag. We're going to close this bag. And we're going to turn this upside down and get that ice with that salt all over our Kool-Aid bag. Now be gentle because you don't want to break your bag inside of your bag. That sounded pretty strange. And this is pretty damn cold. You can feel what the salt has done to this ice damn cold. We're going to let this sit for about five to ten minutes. We don't want to get this completely hardened. Completely hardened. We don't want this to harden completely because we still have another step before we turn this into the full delicacy that is known as prison ice cream. So five to ten minutes, let this sit, let this harden up just a little bit and then we'll move on to our next step. Our ice cream has been sitting for a little while. We're going to take it out 
it's pretty solid, but not all the way solid. I mean, we can still move it around in the bag and that's what we want. We want this to not be so liquidy. The first thing we need to do is we need to rinse off this nasty bag because it's got salt all over it. We have rinsed our bag off with our somewhat solid ice cream substance inside of it. We're gonna go ahead and open this up and now we're gonna take our Pop-Tart. We're gonna open the Pop-Tart, we're not gonna take it out. We're just gonna crush up the Pop-Tart inside of this bag. Yes, folks, this is prison cooking right here. Crushing up your food items inside of a bag. Now, we don't need to use both of these Pop-Tarts. I mean, this is a lot of Pop-Tart for just this little amount of ice cream. But what we're gonna do is, we're gonna do about half of the bag of the two Pop-Tarts. We're gonna crush that up, open our bag of ice cream. We're just gonna dump, dump that inside of there. Just like so. Now we've got a nice little mess inside of here and we're just going to move that around in that bag and start to mix this in. Now I can already see the comments coming about where would you get ice? Where would you get these bags in prison? Obviously in prison you're going to use different bags. Probably like potato chip bags, big chip bags, ice. You can find ice in prison. For the most part, every prison I've been to, they've had ice machines, ice coolers. Next, we're gonna take our Fruity Pebbles. We're gonna open them up, and we're gonna take our spoon. I've been meaning to use this spoon in this video. I don't know why I didn't have it. This is a prison cooking video, after all, from After Prison Show. You know I like to talk into my spoon microphone. We're gonna take us a nice little scoop of our Fruity Pebbles, and we're gonna add that in as well. Bomb! And we're gonna mix that up just the same. And this is gonna look like a mess, but I promise you, this is gonna be awesome. We're gonna close our bag up again, Continuing to move this around inside of the bag, mixing. Make sure you mix this up. You're gonna, because if you don't, you're gonna have chunks of Pop-Tart and Fruity Pebbles. You know, you wanna equally disperse these items inside of this ice cream for best results. Okay, once I feel like we've done that really well, time to put this back in here. Make sure that's closed up tightly. Drop that back inside. Close that up tightly. Oh shit, that didn't even close. Make sure your bags are closed tightly and be really careful when you're putting your ice cream bag inside of your ice bag because you could easily bust your ice cream bag open and end up with a really salty ice cream. You don't want that. So we've carefully just covered our ice cream bag with our salty ice and we're gonna leave that for about another 10 minutes. It's been about another 10 minutes and our ice cream is done. Let's take it out and see what it looks like. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's pretty, pretty solid right there. But now the real test. What is this going to taste like? Well before we try it, we need to clean this bag off again because it is covered in salt. Okay, we've got our ice cream right here. We've got our bowl. Let's open this up. We've got our spoon. Let's go ahead and spoon out. Nice little chunk of that ice cream. Look at that right there, folks. Look at that. Hmm. Plop that right in our bowl. And let's see what this tastes like. What do you think? Fruity Pebble Pop-Tart ice cream? Hagen dolls ain't got shit on us. This is good. Damn, that's good. Oh, by the way, this is my breakfast as well. Mmm. Damn, that's tasty. Want a bite? Magnificent. That, folks, is how you make ice cream in prison. Super easy to do. I hope you try it at home and let me know exactly what you think of it. Also, let me know what you think of this video. Comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And that's it. Until next time, enjoy life, the free world. Never take a moment for granted. And make the most mm, of every day. Peace!